quick interview with our men's and, and women's 21 elite winners. So Megan and uh, Megan Carter Davis joining us, and uh, Graham Griswold. So Megan, firstly, um, how did you feel about your race today? Uh, it was good. I'm very happy to win. I wanted to make it the triple, so that was the aim. Um, and I managed to keep it mostly clean, just a couple of small bits, and I was uh, slipping about a bit on the rocks and the steep grass. But again, it's good. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if you heard our commentary earlier on. Did you uh, hear us giving our predictions about uh, who we thought might do uh, the best performances today? Uh, no, I didn't actually. I was but, in the car a lot. Yeah, that's poss possibly fortunate. We were picking you up quite a bit as the uh, big favourite. Yeah. So I don't know, did you feel any sort of external pressure? Um, no, mostly just myself actually. I just really wanted to do it. So you reckon, were you pretty clean across the performance? Yeah, um, so I think it was pretty good on the slope. Um, it was actually just on the top that I made a couple of small mistakes. Yeah. And uh, when you were out on the top, was it, how was the conditions? Did you have full visibility? Yeah, yeah, no yeah, problem at all. So uh, just thinking about uh, the rest of the season, what's your what's your targets for the rest of the season? So uh, it's almost over, um, just the World Cup is going to be really good. Best of luck for that and congratulations on taking your second middle distance title. So if you'd like to hand the mic to uh, Graeme and we'll do a quick uh, chat with Graeme. So Graeme, also uh, we, uh, both Andy and I predicted that you were the favourite for today. We didn't know how you were coming into it. Obviously you mentioned about your uh, little calf niggle. So Graeme, uh, how physically did you uh, manage to get through today? Yeah, so I had a bit of problems missed the world champs, so I hardly ran at all for the first three weeks. But I did a bit of cycling and kept my fitness up. Um, and then the senior Home internationals were last week, and that went quite well. And actually, the car kind of felt better after the weekend than before. So I was always kind of looking forward to this as one of the races I wanted to do well in this autumn. Um, as, as you said, I've not won it since 2011, although I've been close a couple of times. So it seems to be a good go. And obviously, there's uh, pretty good competition this year compared to a lot of other British middle distance championships uh, other years. Often it clashes with Miss National races or uh, other kind of events. And so uh, it was really good that there was a strong feel. So I knew I had to be in my best. And uh, like Megan said, though, I, I focused on my performance. I knew that if I did well, I'd be up there and in with the chance of kind of winning again. Yeah. So uh, what was your thoughts on the on the terrain and the course today, Greg? Uh, well, I was looking forward to it. I thought the old map looked good with the um, potential for a lot of variety, so steep slopes and mo uh, mining detail and then kind of open terrain as well. Um, I actually thought it might be slightly more challenging than it turned out to be, and it, it would have been if the fog had stayed down. When I arrived at the car park, it was 50 metres of visibility, but it really cleared up for when I was racing. Yeah, no, it was the same. I went out to put that uh, far control. I think it was number 10 on your course right at the bottom of the uh, line of crags, and 20 meter visibility when I was out so uh, it could have been quite different I think and uh, that would have made it uh, quite a bit more challenging I think so. Yeah, as it was I think none of the top three or four guys really had any um, navigational issues and we were it was kind of really close neck and neck the whole way around it was just I just got lucky with the seconds this time. Yeah so uh, congratulations Graham on uh, taking your second middle distance title. Um, for you any more to the season or is that that it for you? Not really, I'm not going to do either of the World Cups. Um, this year has been really good considering last year already, so I'm, I'm really happy with how it's gone. Um, so I'm, now, I'm looking forward to the Cup Sport Cup final and then a uh, holiday. Yeah, so uh, all the best, Graeme, for uh, Compass Sport Cup final for Fourth Valley. Yeah. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you competing uh, back fit and fresh next year. I hope so. Thanks very much. Cheers, Graeme.